This podcast is brought to you by ICT4D.at and inspired by Farm Radio. Hello, listener. This is Podcast Farms, how to podcast. This is your host, Lydia, with my co-host, Juliana and Noah. It's all about kickstarting your podcast journey from beginning to the end. We'll all be taking turns diving deeper into different aspects of podcasting. Hi, and welcome back to Podcast Farms How to Podcast. I'm Juliana, your host for today, and we're going to dive deep into the project management side of podcasting and also how to conduct compelling interviews. So let's get started. Since I have a background in project management, I wanted to give you a few tips on that because I know how hard it is to stay to a schedule. <laughs> Ask myself, I'm not very good at that, but... A podcast is at best a long time project so you have to manage the project well or you won't have a lot of fun with it and get a lot of stress and anxiety from it so we don't want you to have that so there are a few things you should consider first first key word is time management and believe me i don't like that <laughs> But time management is key to producing a successful podcast without feeling overwhelmed all the time. You have to create a content calendar and schedule regular recording sessions. So it really helps to have one day at the week where you like record or edit your podcast or just like have time for doing stuff on your podcast. Give yourself enough time for researching, scripting, if you do that, recording and editing. Set realistic deadlines and try sticking to them. This will ensure a steady flow of episodes and help you stay on track. Because as I said, a podcast is a long-term project. Another very important part of project management is team management. If you have a team working with you, whether it's co-hosts or producers or editors, effective team management is essential. Clearly define roles and responsibilities for each team member beforehand. Establish open communication channels to discuss ideas, progress and potential challenges. Uh, we use simply Signal for that, so any communication channel tool is, is good for that. And regularly check in with your team to address any problems and keep everyone motivated. We try to do that, but since we're living in different countries and in different time zones, it's more difficult. But it really makes a difference and also try to help each other and be honest if you can't stick to a schedule or the deadlines so no one gets frustrated. The biggest part in project management is simple scheduling. And scheduling can be a challenge, especially when dealing with guests and co-hosts. Use scheduling tools. There are like a lot, even on your smartphone, there are apps. So you can find mutual convenient time slots. Plan interviews well in advance, because some guests might have busy schedules. And also... Aim for a consistent release schedule to keep your audience engaged. Most podcasts I know post their episodes on a weekly schedule and that might not sound like much, but keep in mind that if you're alone and don't have a team behind you, you have to research, script, edit, master, have the interview, schedule, post, <laughs> like everything you have to do. On the podcast you have to do in time and in advance because maybe you have a friend or a family member listen to your podcast before you post it. So you have a, like feedback, you have to edit it again 
so it takes some time to do the episodes. So just keep that in mind when scheduling and don't like finish the episode one day before you want to post it. That's a tip. <laughs> you should consider that. So now we're coming to the second part of this episode. I will talk about how to set up an interview, how to choose your interview partner and how to prepare the questions for the interview. So interviews in general are a really cool thing for your podcast. To have other people on your podcast and to interview them and have their experiences and their stories on your podcast can really make a difference. It could be really exciting for your audience and also doing interviews is fun. So first of all, you have to think about does an interview even fit in your podcast theme? Is there a topic you want to discuss with a partner? Is there room for that? Because if it doesn't fit your podcast, you don't have to do an interview, of course. But like I said, interviews are a fantastic way to add depth and variety to your podcast. So to set up an interview, you of course have to do a lot of research on your guests and their work. And you have to reach out to them through email mostly or social media with a good invitation that highlights the value they can bring to your audience. But also you have to set up the interview in a technical way. For example, I'm right now sitting at my desk and my desk is really messy. I couldn't invite an interview partner right now. I have to set up a good a room, a place for them for the interview make them feel comfortable and of course you need a microphone that you can use for the interview. So maybe you have two microphones then, but also it works with one. The microphone we are using, for example, can record voices in both ways. So if my interview partner is sitting across from me and the microphone is standing in between us, that works. But also consider you have to tame your background noise even more because there are two voices. It will be a little bit more difficult and messier to have two voices instead of just your own voice. Because you might be interrupting each other and that's hard to cut and edit afterwards. When selecting an interview partner, look for individuals who have unique experiences, knowledge or perspectives related to your podcast's topic. Consider how their insights can resonate with your target audience because a compelling interview can make a significant impact on your listeners. But that also really depends on what questions you're asking. So you have to prepare compelling questions Aim for open-ended questions that encourage your guests to share their stories and expertise and also like personalize your questions to reflect your background and interest. Something that helped me with my interviews is that I'm going on the internet and I'm searching for the latest interviews with this person or if they had a recent performance, show, TV appearance, something like that. And if they're talked about a topic there, which I like, and I would like to have a similar conversation now, I'm asking them questions to like direct them in this way and they can talk about this experience then. During the interview, practice active listening. Respond thoughtfully to your guests' answers and ask follow-up questions to delve deeper into the topics they discuss. This will also demonstrate your genuine interest and keep the conversation flowing naturally. And it helps to make the whole conversation authentic. And if you're really nervous at the beginning of your interview, you will see it will get better and better with time. it i hope i helped you with a few new keywords on your podcasting journey and gave you a little bit of an insight in project management and how to do an interview remember scheduling time management how to communicate in your team are the most important things to do stick to your deadlines even if it's hard 
And when it comes to interviews, do your research, choose a compelling interview partner, set up the interview good so everything is going smoothly and you'd both feel comfortable. As always, we hope that you find this episode interesting and you keep listening to this journey on how to podcast. Thanks for tuning in to Podcast Forms How to Podcast. Before we wrap up today's episode, I wanted to remind you about some valuable resources and ways to stay engaged. First off, if you found today's conversation inspiring and want to dig deeper, be sure to check out our detailed show notes. And if you're eager to explore the articles, books, websites we discussed, don't worry, we've got you covered. Head over to ict4d.at under Podcast Farm to access a curated list of all the resources we mentioned today. And lastly, if you know someone who would benefit from the knowledge shared on this episode, don't hesitate to share with them. Your recommendation can make a positive impact on their learning journey. Before I go, here's a sneak peek from our next episode where my co-host Noah discusses how to edit your podcast. Put yourself in your audience's shoes. What would they find valuable or boring? Consider their perspective when making edits. Avoid repetition. Well, everyone, that's a wrap for today. Remember, the learning doesn't stop here. Dive into those show notes, explore the resources, and join us on our next episode.